One of the most important factors when you identify talent is to uh, understand context in which performance is created. Today um, in my talk at London Business Forum, I'll speak about a Jamaican sprinting coach who found undervalued talent by always taking context into account. So what he would do would be if he has a sprinter that runs 10.2 and one running 10.6 on the 100 meter, most people would take the 10.2 guy, but this guy would actually say, well, maybe the 10.6 guy is the better one because the 10.2 guy have the best coaches, the best training environments, the most opportunities. The 10.6 guy trained on his own, never in a structured way at all. So a raw 10.6 can be better than a trained 10.2 if you take context into account. There's a lot of context in business when you identify talent. And I think the critical skill is to have contextual intelligence when you spot talent. It's about creating a culture where talent can flourish and where high performance can flourish. Uh, and one of the things I, I feel is, is, is very important is the way that people react and approach change. So one question I often ask people is, if you were sacked today, somebody else came and took your job, what do you think they would do? What they would do may be what you need to do. Because when we've been in a job for a long time, we develop emotional shares in what worked in the past, especially if we've been successful. But if it becomes more important for us to protect what works in the past rather than innovating, then we have a problem and you don't have a high performance culture. So there's a lot of questions you can ask. There's a lot of things you can massage into the culture to make sure that you have a high performance environment that is able to approach change in a constructive way. One of the examples I will share today is, is Facebook, who, who've done some really interesting stuff on the way they try and find the talent that everybody else overlook. And I think the recruitment part, the recruitment of talent is, is really the first most important thing to get right because there's a good quote saying that most companies spend 2% of their time recruiting and 98% of their time managing their recruiting mistakes. I think that's true to some extent. We, we, we really got to get it right in the first place and then it becomes a lot easier to, to, to develop talent.